Hi, I'm John Batch and welcome to my Top Tech Tips. If it's your first time, then explore some various other ones, you'll sure you'll enjoy them. If you're coming back, then thank you for enjoying what I'm doing. Today, we're going to be talking about secure password managers, and in particular LastPass, because that's the one I use myself. Now, the benefit of LastPass, or any secure password manager, is that it generates secure and unique passwords that are different for every single website that you visit, which means it's got to be safer, rather than just having one password used for all your sites, and if that gets broken, you're totally exposed, use secure, unique passwords. Having generated unique passwords, then they're able to autofill the login screens for you. So you can have complicated passwords, you don't have to type them in, they just get put in there for you automatically. And another advantage of the last pass, the best advantage I think, is it is actually cloud-based, which means that my passwords are available to me on whatever device I'm on. My phone, my tablets, my desktop, my laptops, all those various sorts of things. And not only can you take passwords with you, you can have something called secure notes, where you can record confidential information that you don't want to be made available to other people, but have it available to you when you need it. Things like your passport number, the phone number to ring if your credit card gets stolen, all those sorts of things. And finally, it's got a form fill function. You know it's like you're having to fill in that registration forms, a name, address, email, date of birth, phone numbers, all those sorts of things. Well, you went to them once into LastPass, and then with one click of a button, it populates the entire registration form for you. So sit back and enjoy the demonstration. So we decided we want to start using LastPass. That means we need to create an account to store our passwords in, and secondly, add the extension to web browsers to make it effective. So to start, we go to lastpass.com. Here we go. And of all the options, we want to get LastPass free. So we'll click over here at the top right. Now, you want your email. That's absolutely fine. And you need to create a master password that will unlock the safe for all your passwords. Now, because it does expose your other passwords and other information, you need to make sure that the master password is secure you keep it secret, but that you can remember it. So we need a few tips for deciding on a master password. Now, the secret of a good password is that it's complicated, you have numbers, symbols and all sorts of things, and also that you manage to remember it. So one option is to use a phrase that you can remember. In this case, I've used a line from a famous poem, Into the Valley of Death Rode the Ten Thousand. I've changed 10,000 into numbers and digits. Then I'll take the first character or number and that creates my master password. In this case it is capital I T V O D R T number one number zero. Reasonably secure password but it gives you the idea you can make it more and more like that. Another tip would be to use um, two or three car or bike registration numbers you remember from the past. It's highly unlikely anybody else will remember those, but if your favourite vehicle stick in your mind, that can be a reasonably good idea too. OK. Having created my LastPass account, I now need to install the extension. Now, it varies between Chrome, Firefox and Edge, but we're using Edge as an example. Be, the same principle applies to other browsers. So in this case, we're going to go click on the right, go to Extensions, get extensions from Microsoft Edge, and we'll just type in... LastPass. And at the bottom we see LastPass Free Password Manager. Now to the left you can see a red square with three dots. That is the LastPass icon and it's quite important you make sure it's there when you download the extension. So we'll just click Free Password Manager and get. Add extension and off we go. And now we can see that LastPass has been added up here. It's all right. Now, it's black with white dots. That means we're not logged in. So if I click on it, I can then put in my email address. And my master password. Log in. And it's now turned red, which means that we're logged in and able to do anything. And you can see my vault there. You can add LastPass to Android and iOS devices via the App Store or Google Play.
So in principle. Finally though, on, ex on these, we want to turn off autosave in the browser so we don't have a conflict between LastPass and Microsoft Edge. So in this case, we click on the three dots, go down to settings, click on passwords, and turn off offer to save passwords. Otherwise you'll find that LastPass will offer to save the password, Microsoft Edge or Firefox or whatever will offer to save the password, it just makes life very, very confusing. Now I've gone to the Waitrose website because I don't shop at Waitrose, uh, so I don't have any logins and sign-ins for that. But you can see there's a little LastPass icon on the right by email address and password. If I right-click it and go to the bottom, there's an option to generate a secure password. So let's do that. Now we can vary the password length to make it nice and secure. Remember you don't have to type this in, so making it reasonably long is quite a good idea. And you can also decide on which elements. For some unknown reason, when you have to, when you try and register with some websites, they won't let you use symbols and all sorts of things like that. So LastPass enables you to vary it, so you can be maximum security but still log in. I'd recommend at least 16 or so characters and using as many things as those as you can. You can then copy the password and paste it in. Oh, there's, your, there's your new pass. There's your new password. And when you sign it, when you sign in. It'll then offer to save your password. So now I can want to log into a site I've already got a password for. In this case, I'm using PayPal. And we can see there's the LastPass symbol there. Now, actually, I've got more than one identity for PayPal because I'm a treasurer of a club and things like that. So if you click on the LastPass icon, it'll give you all the various options for the names you want to use. Okay, so I'll do that, go to Next. And then I can use the appropriate password and log in. See, all done automatically for me. I'm using 2FA on this, two-factor authentication, so I'm using Authenticator app for London security because it involves finance. But you understand the principle of how you can log in quite quickly without even knowing your own password. Just click it and off you go. So let's explore some other features. If I left-click on the LastPass icon, it brings up a number of options. The ability to search the vault for something you're looking for, the site I've got most recently, but it also enables me to add items which I think is very useful. I can add a secure note, which uh, could be anything, so I might as well put down uh, uh, that could be your passport number, uh, phone numbers for when you lose your bank cards, things like that. Anything you need to keep secure and available to you, but you don't want to have an insecure setting on your phone or your computer or your tablet. Very, very, very useful thing to be able to do. I cancel that rather than saving it. Okay. But also you have the ability to add lots of details so you can auto populate form fills. To do that, we go to add item, add address. You can see there's lots of other options for all sorts of other things. If we add the address, you can fill in all your personal details and then save it. You can do this as many times as you like. I've actually got two form fills, one for personal use and one for business use. Because you just fill them all in, there you go. So I'll cancel that. And now I'll show you an example of how we use it. If we right click anywhere, go to LastPass, go to Other, you can see I've got a home address form fill and a work address form fill. So if we go to Work and Fill, It'll populate everything there for me. Really useful, saves an awful lot of time when you're rushing for new sites and things like that. And finally, if we left click again, we can search for LastPass fault, but we've got logged into live there. So once you've found something, if you highlight it, you can either fill the autofill in and get it launched in a secure browser. You can click copy and copy the username or copy the password to the clipboard, or you can edit the record to whatever you need. So it's very flexible, very useful. That's LastPass. So that's how to use LastPass. I hope you'll install it and use it to find it as good as I do. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe so you can find out more of Top Tech Tips, and please tell more people about it. Let's just share the usefulness. Thanks a lot.